Let's take the first look at the new holiday update for the Hardware 3 Tesla. So go into software, if you click on additional vehicle information, you'll see Intel Atom processor. Now these older Teslas have a different holiday update. Let's check it out. Let's click on release notes. So this will show you all the details of the new holiday update. Let's see which ones I got. So this new holiday update does still include dog mode. So I will get screenshots if I have a dog or uh, animal in the car with dog mode. Now I do have the dash cam viewer update. If you haven't seen this, you can filter your dash cam and it'll actually show you the steering wheel position. You see that circle at the bottom? That is the pressure of the accelerator and more. That one is pretty amazing. Updates to Santa mode I have, the light show update, the paint shop. Now what's missing? I do not have the Tesla photo booth. That uses your interior camera and I do not have the supercharging maps. That shows you which bays are open as superchargers, but let's move on. The navigation improvements, that is nice. I have HOV lane preferences. So let's show you some of these. Now I can save my charge limit. Let me show you some. So if I go into charging now, set limit at this location. So that is pretty cool. I can actually customize my limit. So if I want 90, if I want 80, I can change it to whatever I want. That is pretty cool. So here's what I can also do. I can turn on and off the wireless phone charging pads. So that one's pretty interesting. You can disable or re-enable the wireless charging. So not too bad, I really like that one. So there's a lot of other changes in here. If I go to my toy box, you can now see the paint shop. I also have updates, like we said, to Santa mode with Optimus in the uh, sleigh. Let's continue. So this is the Hardware 3 update. For the first time, we're showing you what is included now, to finish things off, you have a phone left behind chime. So if your smartphone has a UWB capability, now 27% or so of new smartphones have this UWB capability, you'll have a chime if it's left in the car. If you don't have that, it'll have to be in the charge port for you to get that chime. So your vehicle will chime a few seconds after the doors are closed if your phone is left behind on the wireless charging. So there's some minor security updates that are included in most software updates. So not too bad uh, for the holiday update hardware three, we can see quite a few different changes here. Now, some of these are entertainment, some of these are navigation, and some of them are very functional. So what do you think? Hardware three on the new holiday updates. Now you know.